must have, and must not have, Kato food list, feeling ready to start buying groceries, slow down there, chief, go through the pantry, fridge, freezer, and secret stashes under the bed, and get rid of foods with any significant carb content, in the first few days, you could end up craving them, badly, sorry, no fruit for now, even carrots and onions are too high glycemic to work with Kato, Witterick says, Kato foods, got that done, cool, now, here are some of the staples you should build your ketogenic diet around, fatty nuts and seeds, cashews, macadamia nuts, pumpkin seeds, avocado, whole eggs, full fat cheese, beef, ground chuck, 80-20, filet mignon, porterhouse, ribe, chicken, thighs and legs, vegetables, spinach and other greens, broccoli, asparagus, cabbage, mushrooms, bell pepper, olive oil, salted butter, heavy cream, sour cream, cream cheese, fatty fish, salmon, mackerel, sardines, anchovies, chicken broth or bouillon cubes with at least one gram sodium, that last item may surprise you, but for many people, it makes all the difference, why, when carbs are cut, we rapidly deplete glycogen, the stored form of carbohydrate, for every gram of glycogen we lose, we lose 3 grams of water, addition of the bouillon will help prevent dehydration and improve the way you feel on the diet, water isn't enough on keto, you need enough sodium, too, chicken broth is absolutely critical on this diet as a way to ensure you are getting enough sodium, Whitriff explains, Anytime a client calls me and feels bad, I immediately tell them to drink a cup of chicken broth, and their symptoms usually go away. Having some super fatty treats to help you hit your ambitious macros is also a must. Luckily, many people have already gone where you're going. There are a lot of fat bomb recipes you can find on the internet, Witterick says. These are very good at satisfying your sweet tooth and a great way to increase fat consumption without going over on protein. Also, I'm a huge fan of salted pumpkin seeds and salted sunflower seed kernels. Want even more guidance? Terence Sapper, Ms. Lead Registered Dietitian for the Department of Human Sciences at The Ohio State University, has written out a sample meal plan to get you off and running.